hello everyone we will enter into the next topic that is the polar plot polar plot so generally the polar plot generally the polar uh, coordinates generally it is in like this or at an angle of theta that means it will show or shows the magnitude and theta will show the phase theta will shows the phase so by using this concept we will discuss the polar plot okay so this is the polar plot which will be useful for analyzing the stability of the given system okay and by using this polar plot we will understand the nyquist plot so nothing but polar plot is basic part of the nyquist plot so by using the concept of the polar plots we will draw the nyquist plot okay so first procedure to draw the polar plot so what is the procedure to draw the polar plot first find the magnitude and phase at omega equal 0 so generally we are given a system open loop transfer function for this system you should find out magnitude as well as the phase at first frequency equal to 0 this is the first point and second point find the magnitude and phase at omega equal infinite and take the last frequency infinite frequency you should find out the magnitude as well as the phase two things third ending direction of the plot ending direction of the plot is given by phase at omega equal to 0 minus phase at omega equal infinite so by using the difference of phases so we have already available omega equal 0 is there and omega equal infinite phase is there then by division omega equal 0 minus omega equal infinite if it is positive then the polar plot have clockwise direction if it is possible then the polar plot should have clockwise direction means the plot ending is like this clockwise if difference between the these two phases if it is negative if you are getting the negative then the ending direction of the polar plot is the anti clockwise direction this direction we have the anti clockwise direction the third point will give the ending direction of the plot only the ending direction of the plot next fourth point the starting direction is considered on the basis of negative real and zeros negative real poles and zeros so this is the ending direction point the fourth point will give the starting direction e is considered on the basis of negative real poles and zeros so in the given transfer function we have negative real poles and zeros those are the very important parameters those will decide the starting direction in that first point if the pi net poles are nearer to the imaginary axis we have some imaginary axis negative real axis means this may be so we have the pole like this zero is like this in this model if the pi net poles are nearer to the imaginary axis then the starting direction is the clockwise that will decides the starting direction that will decides the starting direction if the pole is nearer the simple the starting direction is the clockwise direction like this clockwise direction second if finite zeros are nearer to the imaginary axis if these are nearer to the imaginary axis then the starting direction is anti clockwise direction so the starting direction will decides the thing so the starting direction is the anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise direction means reverse of this direction like this okay these two points will very important the second the above procedure is valid so in order to use the polar plot is the valid only if the magnitude at omega equal to 0 will greater than or equal magnitude at omega equal infinite so the magnitude omega equal 0 magnitude will be very very much high 
compare with the magnitude at omega equal infinite omega equal infinite then the above procedure is valid if the magnitude at infinite what is this meaning means so generally just analyze it so we have a plot we have a plot some magnitude plot is there for example at omega equal 0 we have some magnitude at omega equal to 0 we have some magnitude some for example at 20 dB for example when we are finding omega equal infinite the magnitude is like this then this polar plot is not possible to draw where it is possible so if the frequency equal to 0 we have some magnitude and at frequency equal infinite that magnitude will should be the decrement like this then the polar plot is applicable then the polar plot is applicable okay these are the procedure to draw the polar plot this is the procedure to draw the polar plot okay so by using this polar plot we will analyze the plot let we discuss a problem here the problem is given the problem is gh of s equal 1 by s plus 1 draw the polar plot this is the problem first to draw the polar plot the first point just convert into omega so omega equal at j omega s equal we have 1 by j omega plus 1 so first we should find out omega equal 0 and omega equal infinity in magnitude and phase just you take the omega here and the magnitude here and the phase here just you consider these three things so initially you should take omega value is the 0 then what is this magnitude magnitude equal to 1 simply how so this magnitude is for omega square plus 1 is the magnitude generally okay so at omega equal to 0 just substitute these terms the 0 you will have root 0 plus 1 then we have the magnitude equal to 1 what about phase this is the magnitude what about the phase phase is minus tan inverse of omega by 1 or omega so at omega equal to 0 phase is minus tan inverse of 0 by 1 so simply we can take it as 0 degrees simply we will take it as 0 degrees so this is the 0 and at omega equal infinite what is the magnitude just substitute this omega equal infinite there just substitute infinite so right here no problem so the magnitude equal to 1 by infinity square plus 1 equal to 0 magnitude equal to 0 and what about phase the phase equal to minus tan inverse of yeah, omega uh, infinite by 1 so minus tan inverse of infinite means minus 5 by 2 just the phase is the 5 by 2 so we are getting the phase values just what is the first condition here just this is the rough work to understand this table to understand this table just leave this part rough work now first look at the condition what is the relation between magnitude at omega equal to 0 and magnitude at omega equal infinite so magnitude at omega equal to 1 is 0 this is the greater than 1 then whenever this condition is possible then we should consider polar plot is applicable we will use as the polar plot okay so next we will go for the ending direction so how we will get the ending direction ending direction is simple that is phase at omega equal to 0 minus phase at omega equal to infinite so phase at omega equal 0 is 0 and phase at omega equal minus 5 by 2 so then we have the plus 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2 so whenever this value is positive then we can name it as the ending direction is 
the clockwise direction ending direction is the clockwise direction then what is the starting direction so we will find out the starting direction starting direction how we will find out which is nearer to the imaginary axis just look at here we have only one that is only pole that pole s equal to minus one then pole is nearer to imaginary axis nearer to the imaginary axis so therefore the starting direction is also the clockwise direction so now you will draw the polar plot then how to draw the polar plot a simple thing so now you will draw the polar plot the polar plot is just you take the phases so this is the real real axis and this is the imaginary axis just to take it this is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis so it is a 0 degrees and it is the 90 degrees and it is the 270 degrees and it is the 360 and maybe if you take the reverse direction it is the minus 90 and it is the minus 180 and it is the minus 270 this is the plot what is the initial initially at omega equals 0 1 at 0 phase Z, this is the 0 phase assume this is the magnitude point assume that this is the omega equal to 0 and what is the starting direction it is a clockwise direction clockwise means it will be start like this so I will take a clockwise plot means like this clockwise plot this is the clockwise plot clockwise direction and next what is the ending direction ending angle is so ending angle is plus ending direction is clockwise okay ending at 0 equal so it so look at here at omega equal infinite will be end at 0 that means it will be end at this point so just change the color then you will understand so it will be end at the omega equal infinite simply but what is the direction look at the direction that is look at the phase phase is minus 5 by 2 so this is the minus 5 by 2 so where is the minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 in this so it will be start from here and ending it here the phase is also clockwise direction the phase is also the clockwise direction that means the plot will start from here and end, end it here because magnitude is 0 only here here the magnitude is only 1 is here okay so this is the procedure to draw the polar plot this is procedure to draw the polar plot okay so this is about the polar plot and how to draw the polar plot and one example i hope all of you understand the session thank you